Good afternoon, folks here. Dr. Nell's here and coming to you this morning or this afternoon for Leadership Thursday vlog. And today we're doing something a little different as I've had ideas in my brain circulating <laughs> with this lady who happens to be my wife. And as some of you know, you have had the pleasure of reading some of her blogs and, and I had been begging her to write before and she started writing and as many of you know they're probably watching this you've read some of her in absolutely incredible blogs and there's a talent there there's some wisdom there there's a passion there that uh, she's drawing out of herself I'm not drawing out of her I just asked her to do it and she has to write when the things are right and her brains right and when the message flows and her juices are flowing and that's how that kind of works but so we thought we'd bring her to you on a vlog and she didn't know that till about an hour ago and I called her and I said hey we're gonna record these here just a little bit why don't you come down here and we'll do some recording so she she hasn't been live for you folks so give her some grace but <laughs> I told her we would maybe talk a little bit about uh, children and parenting and for you folks that are watching many of you know our journey and I wanted to know from her how she has handled navigating this part of the journey when, when you as a parent are focusing, giving a lot of your time and attention and focus maybe to one child and then there's another one that you have to think about or how are we giving them some focus and attention so they don't, it's not feel left out, but how do we continue to guide them down a journey? And so I, I'm asking her that and how, is she, how have you navigated that journey and what's been some of those challenges, what's been right, what's been wrong? Um there's a lot to that question and um so it's funny that you brought it up today because i actually i just text our daughter mackenzie this morning she's the one that's kind of taken a back seat to nash's journey i think throughout the last couple of years um and honestly i think for me and i don't know if i've handled it right or wrong i think um it's important to just acknowledge to her hey this has been a rotten deal for you you've you've kind of been forced by circumstances to take a back seat it's not because we want you to it's not because we feel like you're lesser of the two children. It's not because we love Nash more or we care for Nash more. It's purely a matter of our circumstances. So this morning I sent her a very long text telling her, hey, I'm really sorry that the last couple years have been rough. I'm sure that you have felt like you've taken a back seat. Um, and this last weekend, I had the opportunity to take Mackenzie to Wichita for the day. Just her and I go shopping eat together, stay the night together, and just have some fun before her volleyball tournament. And part of the reason I did that was simply because I know that, you know, a lot of our one-on-one -on -one time is with Nash um, unintentionally. It's just a matter of our circumstances. And so I sent her a message and just said, I loved spending time with you. I'm so thankful that you let me spend an entire day with just you. So mm -hmm. I think it's important to make her know that we're aware of it and that, um, again, just that, that we love her just as much. It's just... A matter of where we are right now. How did how did she respond in that text? Uh, she just responded <laughs> in a way that Mackenzie would. That she was glad I had fun watching her. That she loved me so much, and that she really had fun spending time with me. So mm -hmm. I don't think you know she didn't respond back with regards to Nash because I don't think that's really what the text was about for her. Mm -hmm. How uh, uh, we we know she's handled quote unquote taking a back seat, but. Do you really think she's taken a back seat? Um, at the end of the day, I think our kids both know that they love that we love them fiercely. I don't think, at least I pray, that I've parented in a way, that we've parented in a way that she would never feel unloved or that we've not given her attention. I think it's maybe more at the forefront of our minds, probably even more than it is hers, um, just because we want to be sure that she feels safe and secure with us. Um, so I think, it, I think it probably bothers me more than it bothers her. I don't know that she's ever felt that way. I guess I would make that assumption that she has at times. Mm -hmm. um, but as a <clears throat> parent, it's our job just to make sure she doesn't, I guess. So as you've walked through a journey, having to give some extreme focus to one child, and, but you've had some intentional focus on all right, making sure it doesn't seem too much and that they're still included and get everything necessary What's one thing you would have done different over the last 
two and a half years with probably, McKinsey. Probably the only thing I would have done different is something that we couldn't do different. You know, COVID kept us from being, a, you know, being able to bring McKinsey <clears throat> to Madonna and have her part of that part of the journey. Um, Cause I feel like that's the, the only part where there's been a gap in what we've done that she has not been a part of, but, but those were out of our control. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I feel like there's a little bit that we lived an entire separate life that she, that she wasn't part of during that time at Madonna. I wish she could have seen what we saw. I wish she could have met the people that we met because all of those people there know so much about her, um, but they never got to meet her face to face. Yeah. But unfortunately that was out of our control. I feel like in the time that we have been here with her, we've been very present and, 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 and done our best to make sure that she is that she feels like she's part of everything. You know, another thing I did along the way was making sure that we never posted anything without telling her first. That was very important to me. If, if we knew something was happening with Nash or something was going on, we wanted to make sure even mm -hmm. from day one, I would text <clears throat> Jamie Mayers, yeah. our friend who was keeping McKenzie and say, I really need her to hear this from me. You know, I just wanted to make sure that she always knew it was from us first. Mm -hmm. So I think as we wrap this one up, it's the question is how is she tried to help with the child that maybe doesn't feel the center of attention, still feel the center of focus. And I guess what I'm hearing her say is, is she put some intentional focus on making sure that child didn't feel left out. And simply by putting some intentional focus on that situation, that matter, that potential feeling, that's probably subsided McKenzie's feelings there to a certain degree. Um, we know that she has some of her own battles, but to me, what I'm hearing you say is you, you apply intentional focus there, and it is probably the simplest and best thing you can do for that child. It was certainly the only thing I knew what to do, yeah. Yeah. So that's what we have today. Karen's first vlog, folks. Isn't she a badass? <laughs> <laughs> we love her dearly. I know you guys like to hear from her. That's why she's sitting in this chair. We're gonna record another one right after this, folks. If you like what you see here, click the subscribe button and we will be back in one week. Cheers. Thank you.